Hi. I don't know if you could tell by the state of me, but I feel rough. I also look rough. This has been what I've been looking like for the past week. Because I'm ill. I'm really ill. And yes, I'm going to be a baby about it because I just feel... Oh, I just feel so weak. Mm -hmm. Look. So cute right now. Do I really want to put this on the internet? Is this really what I want to put on the internet? Probably not. Oh no, I look so bad. Okay, I look so bad. Okay. So basically, this whole week I've been really ill. I've been out of action. I've been looking like this. It's just not been fun. If I'm going to be honest with you, it's just been really not fun. I think I'm starting to feel a bit more human again, so we love that for me. But as I'm coming out of it, I'm realising how much stuff I need to do. I feel like with me, I'm either really productive or I'm not. But then that's me with everything in life. I'm a very all or nothing person, which is great when you're all in. Fantastic. But when you're not, it's like, it's not great. And I feel like the past few weeks, months maybe, have been pretty full on. So I guess now I'm on the come down. Okay, it's time to be a functioning human. I have been taking this, it's called Floridix. It's an iron supplement. And I'm actually proud of myself because I've been quite consistent in taking it. Like I've actually remembered to take it recently. Um, so, you know, little reminder for all us iron deficient girlies out there. Um, take your iron supplements. I've already taken my one today. Actually, how often do you take these? Oh, you take it twice daily. Okay, so I haven't been the best at that. Right, let's make din din, shall we? turned out way better than I thought it would. Like that rice looks legit. I think that's the best stir fried rice I've ever made. Oh wow, that is incredible. Considering how quick and easy that is to make, that is incredible. One thing I don't know if I mentioned, cause I can't remember what I vlogged and whatnot, but honestly, since moving into this place, I am cooking so much more, but not only am I cooking way more, it doesn't feel like a chore anymore. I find that actually cooking doesn't take me that long. I can cook like a meal in like 10, 20 minutes. Um, I'm being way more adventurous with the kind of food I'm cooking and it just feels much more seamless and easy Like it doesn't feel like oh, I have to go to the kitchen and cook now It's just more like I'll be sat on the sofa feel hungry come to the kitchen cook something and then carry on the rest of my day And I'm realizing that the kind of kitchen you have and the environment that you're in makes such a big impact on how Much you cook like this kitchen makes me want to cook more and it feels like an activity, it feels fun, it feels quite therapeutic, I'm in my own zone. I don't know how long this is gonna vibe, I don't know if this just is a new... But then I've never felt that way in my previous flat, so I don't know. But like, yeah, this... I like the layout of this kitchen, and it just makes me want to... And I think I like it because it's quite spacious, and there's a lot of like empty spaces, so it doesn't feel quite overwhelming. It feels quite like I have room to play. You know? And like, I feel like my cooking has improved as a result, but this is kind of spicy, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, it's a bit spicy. I think my taste buds, after being so rough the past few days, I think it's waking up my taste buds, to be honest. These are some of the IKEA packages that have arrived that I need to build. This is a bookshelf for my office area. So I shall put that in the room. This right here is the shoe stand, which will go basically where the camera is. So I'm gonna bring that to you. Pop that here actually. And these are the kitchen stools that I need to finish doing. So hopefully I'll do that at some point today. So yeah, a lot of Ikea furniture that needs to be completed. I have not used the washing machine since moving into this place. I don't even know if I know how to use it. This will be the first time me trying, so. Wish me luck. I don't know how I've made it this long without washing my clothes yet. I think because all my clothes were in boxes, I just kept getting clothes out of the boxes, but eventually you gotta wash them. This one's very different to my previous one, um, but it came with a flat. So like, I'm not complaining. Also, it's quite nice having my own separate, like I'm kind of using this place as like a utility room, which is quite nice because I'm not, had that before. First thing you gotta do, I don't know, I'm just gonna shove everything in. Sometimes I quite enjoy days where you just do errands because I feel like errands or cleaning days are days where you don't have to think a lot so you can just like mindlessly 
go about your day, but still be productive. Oh man, I didn't realize how much stuff I shoved in here. Oh, I need to do something about, basically, this is cashmere. And I don't think you can wash cashmere in a washing machine. I'm pretty sure that's like a no-go. If you know how to wash cashmere, if you have any tips on how I should go about cleaning cashmere items, please do let a girl know, because I don't know what I'm doing in that area. And I need all the help I can get. I wanted to leave the flat, like go outside, but I saw a TikTok that said, if you have the washing on, not to leave it unattended in case something wrong happens. And obviously this is my first time trying it out, so I don't want to risk that. Oh, God dang it, didn't think about that. I don't know if it's worth going out, coming back, and then turning it on. Maybe that's like the safer thing to do. Okay, maybe I'll do that, but let me just start it off. It's still full, even though I've just like done one load. That just shows you how much clothes I need to wash. Right, let's figure this out, because I don't really know what I'm doing here. How do I know what's what? Oh, this needs a good clean, which is kind of ironic because it's a washing machine, but I don't know what these mean. Give her a good old scrub. <gasps> oh God. I scrubbed a little too hard there. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have Google. Anytime I don't know about anything, which is a lot, um, and I need to figure it out, I just Google it and it has all the answers. And it makes me think, what do people do when they didn't have Google? I owe all of my adulting to YouTube tutorials and Google. And it's kind of crazy with YouTube, you can find the most niche tutorials. Like when I didn't know how to set up my printer, I watched, because basically the pamphlet that they gave for my printer it wasn't helpful. And they didn't even tell you everything you needed. But there was a YouTube tutorial that went exact, it wasn't the exact model, but it was like the same brand. And the guy did like a 10 minute detailed tutorial on how to use and set up. And I'm like, damn, what if like I didn't have access to that? I literally wouldn't have known how to do it. Point is, I figured out how to use this, well, I think I figured out how to use a washing machine. Turns out if there's two lines, or the number two, that's where you put like your washing powder in. And it's a flower symbol, that's where, oh, I think I did it wrong in my old one. Flower one is where you put like a softener in. It's also crazy how you just expected to just know how to add up. And like a lot of us haven't been given the training. It's kind of crazy that we're just expected to figure everything out all in one go. Like there's no like baby steps to it. You're just like, okay, you're on your own now. Go be a functioning human. And it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I am back. Finally got my ramen supply. I picked this up, which is Kimchi dumplings, I think. Yeah, crispy kimchi dumpling. Oh, ravioli saute. I don't know what that is. This looks incredible. I picked a whole pack of frozen salmon for 10 quid. Some fancy pasta. I don't know, I just like the shape of these ones. I've never tried the shape before. I picked up some avocados, but I mean, they say they're ripe, but I don't know if they're ripe enough. Kiwi, hummus, tomatoes, onion, and sambar. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to try this out. It's samba. That's very exciting. Very, very exciting. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer now and do a little mini taste test, I think. Oh, and I got kimchi. There was no kimchi. That's so sad. I couldn't find kimchi. They had run out, but I got this tub, which is probably gonna last me like, what, one day? <laughs> this is not gonna last me long at all, but. I am grateful I got myself some kimchi. So now I can start making the salmon rice ball, my go-to staple dinner. I still haven't made that yet in this place. I think they're done. Ooh, oh wow, okay. They're like little pockets. So this is what they look like. Um, I air fried them for like, what? I feel like it was like 10 minutes. So I don't actually know if it's done all the way through, but oh. It smells so good. That looks really good. This is gonna burn, isn't it? This is such a dumb idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, actually not so bad. Mmm. It was a bit spicy. Oh, it's actually quite spicy. Oh, that hits you. Mmm. Do I have a chili oil? That's done. It's already spicy. Why am I putting more spice on it? Well, I'm gonna do it like this because. Of too lazy to clean another cutlery item. Oh my god, that's a lot! It's gonna taste so good though. That's some good stuff right there. I think I'm gonna make myself some indomie and have it with this. And maybe a bit of kimchi on the side. Oh, such an elite combo. Finally, I am starting to feel way more me again which I'm so happy about. I feel like I feel like myself again. Like I just feel like 
I'm back. You know what main I think my personality, well one of them anyway, had decided to make a return. Oh my god, I did feel really good. You don't realise how good it is to feel healthy and normal until you get sick. And like I still have the sniffles. The amount of snot this human can make. Honestly, it surprises me. Point is, I am feeling like myself again. I feel like um, I have strength in my body. Not a lot, because <laughs> I'm still me. I'm going to make a start on building the IKEA stuff. So I've got two kitchen stools here that um, I'm going to make now, and they're going to go here. I got three kitchen stools, and I'm now thinking, is that too many? I hope you guys are happy and healthy. There seems to be a bug going around, so... You know, just make sure you're taking your lem sips and also resting. Like, give your body... I think also I was burnt out. I think it was a combination of a few things, to be honest with you. And I think I was just genuinely really burnt out. Will I get burnt out again? Probably. But I'm, I don't know how to fix that. I don't know how to um, have, like, a healthy balance on life. I'm not very good at that. When I'm in a good fit state, I just want to maximize that as much as possible and be as productive as possible because there's just so many things I want to do. There's so many cool things to do that you want to do them all, but then you got to remember that you're just one human being. Probably not healthy. Clearly, I never learn, so I don't know. I'll go Blue Peter mode. Is it Blue Peter mode? When they do that thing of like, here's what I made earlier. So I'm going to now make it and then it'll be like show and tell. You know, it's actually kind of funny. My... Uh, I don't, I'm currently using it as a TV stand. It's so funny, every time I move, the moving people make fun of me because it's literally, I don't know how it's up, because one of the, what do you call it? Doors is not on. It's literally just not on, but you like lock it in place. But it's like, if you unlock it, it just falls. And the other side is like, basically just completely falls apart. I don't even know how the TV's on it. Like that's just, an accident hazard waiting to happen. It's like that because I built it. Everything that I built <laughs> has not been great. My friend did that one. My friend came over to work um, and he had to build his own stool for it. But um, so I should have watched how he did it. That would have been the smart thing to do, but I was too busy feeling sorry for myself and complaining about how ill I was to think about it at the time. We shall see! Oh my god, that's so heavy! Why is that so heavy? Ooh, this is very satisfying. Okay, maybe that wasn't as satisfying. It's you! Smile, you're on camera. Okay! And we're done! Alright, I will... Oh god, I have a headache. When you do any bit of physical labour and suddenly you got a migraine. I shall update you when they're done. It could be 10 minutes, it could be two hours. You don't know with me, we shall see. <laughs> Update on the whole moving, breaking desk fiasco. So like, they responded to me literally the day after I put out my last vlog. So I don't know if they've seen that video. But yeah, they emailed me back saying, can you send the pictures and all that, even though I already did that. I sent it again and they haven't responded to my email since. This feels like such a quick no-brainer. Just do what you gotta do and we can move on with our life. But they're just like longing out and I don't know why. So yeah, still not the best customer service to be honest. I thought once they responded, I'd be like, okay, this is great. Let's just get it sorted. But no, it's still taking a little while and they're not responding very quickly. What a bad system. Like, honestly, just not great. Not a big fan. So yeah, that's the update on that. Um, hopefully, they get back to me really soon. Other than that, everything's all good. I'm feeling a lot better. I have my kitchen stools now, so that's really great. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you lots. Please know they matter, and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!